This video is sponsored by GamePrint. GamePrint gives you the ability to 3D print your customized Star Trek online ship with your own ship name and number. Hello everyone, Zeph Films here with another visual review. Uh, this time we are going to be taking a look at the Harold Vomp Dreadnought Carrier. Yeah, Harold Vomp Dreadnought Carrier. <laughs> I had to double check the name there. This ship is huge. Uh, I Usually I do all these videos in Field of View 20, uh, just so we can get a better look at it. And it's so big that it does not fit in the screen at 20. But uh, we can still get an overall look. Uh, as you see, this video was sponsored by GamePrint. And I'm going to just say off the bat, you cannot 3D print uh, Iconian ships. And I'll show you exactly why. There is a lot of floating parts that don't even attach that I think would just make it impossible to 3D print it. Um, I think the only solutions of 3D printing it is if you have like little, um, little pillars that attach them in place. But then I think overall that would kind of cheapen and make it look even weirder. So I can understand why this is not available for uh, 3D printing. Yeah, I've had a couple of requests in previous uh, reviews to uh, do this ship, so I finally got the opportunity to do it. I, uh, I was opening up some Infinity Lockboxes and actually won a uh, T6 ship prize thingy, so I copied it over to a bunch of uh, Tribble a bunch of times, and so we're going to be doing a lot of those ships that I've never done before. Uh, so without further ado, let's... Uh, Let's, uh, yeah, let's look at the, the, uh, the specs and all that of the ship. So, Harold Vomp Dreadnought Carrier T6. It is a 4-3 with three device slots, three engineering console slots, four science console slots, four tactical console slots, and two hangar bay slots. Um, the weapons that come with it are Harold Anti-Proton Beam Arrays, that's standard issue. I would swap those out and get uh, put on whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not here to tell you what to put on your ship. Uh, it comes with a universal console. This universal console is called Oblivion Gateway Module. And when this is equipped to your ship, you get plus 6% exotic damage, uh, plus 11.3 kinetic damage resistance rating, and plus 11.3 energy damage resistance rating. When you activate this, it summons uh, Oblivion Gateway and gives you AOE radiation damage. So it creates an Oblivion portal behind your target for 30 seconds. Uh, this applies to foes within 5 kilometers. Uh, after 6 seconds, there is 13,235.5 radiation damage with 100% shield penetration to up to 6 enemies. And there is a 2 minute recharge on that. Uh, obviously that radiation number will change depending on how you are specced out and what consoles you have on your ship, uh, so do keep that in mind. Uh, this is part of a three-piece set, so if you have two of them, uh, two of the universal consoles uh, slotted onto this one ship or any other uh, Herald ships, uh, then you get uh, plus 12.5% critical severity and plus 33% flight turn rate. And if you have all three, then you get Solar Flare Gateway. Uh, target foes, uh, 10 kilometer range, two minute recharge, creates a solar gateway behind your target for 15 seconds and deals 2,900 radiation damage with 100% shield pen every 0.5 seconds for 15 seconds. Uh, so it kind of looks, it kind of sounds very much like the Oblivion Gateway, just not as crazy as the Oblivion Gateway. And this ship does have a mastery uh, called Peak Efficiency. So when you hit Tier 5 in the mastery, uh, you get the ability. So to yourself, you get minus 7.5% recharge time to all bridge officer abilities every 5 seconds when you're... Ho I guess there's a word missing here. <laughs> I think it should read minus 7.5 recharge time to all bridge officer abilities for 5 seconds when hull strength is at or above... 80%. So I think there's a little bit of a wording uh, uh, missing or mess up in there. But I'm not, I, I often mess up my words too. So whatever, we're not perfect. The bridge officer stations. So we have a Lieutenant Commander Universal slash Command Station, 
an Ensign Universal Station, thank you, a Commander Tactical Station, a Lieutenant Engineering slash Intel Station, and a Lieutenant Commander Science Station. So I actually think this bridge seating is actually not too bad. Yeah, oh, we forgot. We forgot to look at the pets. <laughs> so Mer Fighters. Uh, so Mer Fighters equipped and abilities. They have two Herald Anti-Proton Beam Arrays and Impact. I don't know what Impact is. Let's see if there's more details. I'm guessing Impact is this part here. Uh, all carrier pets are immune to warp core breaches and have layered defenses three, which makes them immune to a single torpedo hit every 30 seconds. And so when you click the button, you launch, uh, I, I'm assuming the standard, you launch three of each. Whoa, that sounds actually pretty cool. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Oh, that, that's pretty cool. So it looks like you can have up to 12 of these guys at a time. Yeah, so as you can see down here, three and three. So there's six out right now, and we can have launch two more wings. I'm sorry, that sound is, that sound is amazing. That's really cool. All right, uh, let us go to Earth Space Dock. Uh, we're gonna park outside and not inside. <laughs> And uh, we're going to beam to the inside and uh, go to the ship tailor and see what visualization options are available to us down there. Alrighty, so here we are in the ship tailor. Uh, also, full disclosure, I am on Tribble. So everything that we're seeing here might be different in Holodeck. Um, but that is the only way I can really do these videos for you. Uh, one, win one pack and then transfer it to Tribble a handful of times and go through the ships one by one. So uh, as you can see, template, there's only Vomp. Uh, interior, we're going to take a look at this after, after the ship tailor because the bridge on this thing is amazing. Uh, windows, there are no windows because Iconians don't need them. Uh, material, it's defaulted to Iconian. Uh, so we have Iconian and then we have Iconian type 2, which is actually a really interesting green. I actually really kind of dig that. That is a nice green. I, yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, but let's put it back to the default material and go to advanced and patterns. Uh, we use Andromeda all the time. And it looks like there was a little bit of something that happened here in the middle that I can't really make out. Um, uh, yeah, something darkened up a little bit, but uh, yeah. Uh, so that's it for the ship Taylor. That was actually quite quick. Um, I think a lot of these lockboxes ships are going to be like this, with the exception of maybe the Federation ships. But uh, yeah, I want to thank our sponsor, Gameprint. Gameprint just launched a new, fully customizable Star Trek Online Starship plaque. The plaque's design is inspired by the iconic ship wall in the USS Enterprise D's Observation Lounge. This wall featured an Alto Relievo style display of scale sculptures of six of the Earth vessels previously commissioned as the USS Enterprise. Currently, the plaque is available for most Federation starships. Choose your ship and customize the nameplate's ship name, registry number, commission star date and sector, captain's name, and the ship's slogan. I'm actually, I, I don't, if you haven't seen it, uh, I released a video uh, earlier uh, this week. Uh, of me unboxing the plaque and it's a really really nice uh, thing uh, so if you haven't seen that video please do check that out uh, it's it's really cool plus you get to see my face on the screen uh, but yeah let's warp up to the uh, the bridge or beam up warp up we're iconians so we can trend we can do whatever we want uh, yeah let's let's just go to the bridge now actually we're going to go to the bridge an interesting way so we can do slash bridge enter. So before they added some new commands, uh, before in order to go to the bridge, you had to go to the drop down on the right here and then go view starship bridge. But now you can go into your chat channel and just type forward slash bridge, hit enter and hit okay. Ta-da, well, we're on the bridge. This is 
this is a real cool bridge. Actually, I'm going to change something here. I'm going to go back to the default field of view. There we go. Nope. All right. So here we are. Yeah, this bridge just so, so amazing. Um, I don't even know where to like begin. This is probably one of my favorite definitely one of my favorite uh, ground environments uh, even though it's like just a bridge uh, but there's so many just little details that just are astonishing plus this the area like the sky map thing yeah just awesome um, these things pop up when you walk up close to them so you can contact your duty officers here uh, this one this is where you make your witches brew um, or your Iconian Witch Brew, I guess. Uh, that doesn't do anything crazy. Oh, I guess this is, like, where you would stand and command everything. That's just awesome. And then over here, more things pop up. This one's already popped up because we have a bridge officer standing here. Uh, we can select a small craft from there. Uh, we can access the library file from here. But yeah, all these little things pop up. Access account bank here. Really, really, really well done bridge. Um, it's just so amazing. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I guess we can go do some pew pew. Uh, there's nothing really crazy to show off, I guess. But I've never done pew pew with this ship. So let's do some pew pew. Alrighty, so here we are uh, in my favorite place to be. <laughs> uh, not really, but it's on the way to the Solanay Dyson Sphere. So we're going to launch our pets and see what they do. And uh, we're probably only going to do half of this because uh, I have a feeling that this ship is just going to turn <laughs> like a boat. Like a very big boat. Like a yacht. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with lot yacht. Alright, so all my pets are out. Let's target that. The pets are probably yo, yeah, there go the pets. Do your thing. Oh my god, this thing. Yeah, I feel like I am piloting, piloting the Enterprise uh, J Universe class right now. The um, the weapons have a cool sound effect, though. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to try out the console. All right, we're gonna do that now. Let's just no. Don't. Oh, damn it. There we go. And one. There we go. Woo! There we go. Oh, it's still up, too. Oh, and now it's gone. So much for only doing half of it. Yeah, you definitely need something to uh, <laughs> to increase the turn rate on this ship because right now we're at full speed. Uh, let's look at turn rate 7.5 degrees per second. And then if we're at full impulse, our turn rate gets a little bit better. But yeah, if we're in battle, our turn rate is pretty, pretty bad. Yeah. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's go to the Solanay Dyson Sphere and uh, put on all the different shields on this ship to see how it looks. So let's go do that now. All right, so here we are in the Solanay Dyson Sphere. Uh, I'm going to have to... I don't think I'm going to be able to really do the Field of View 20 here. We'll do 35. We'll be able to see most of it, so... 
Yeah, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into the shield portion of this uh, video. Starting off with the T5 Discovery Shield Array, and don't really notice too much of a difference because the ship has already kind of got um, the matching color palette and it's got purple in places already. But we do see, if I zoom in here, you can see the pattern here on the hull, like that little bubbling effect. Uh, we'll probably see that a lot more with the T6, which we'll look at right now. All right, so here's the T6 Discovery Vanity Shield, and yeah, definitely see a lot more of that bubbling, which actually seems to suit the ship uh, pretty good. I do like it. I love that glowing sphere in the front of it, though. That's so crazy. Uh, next shield. Here's the Adapted Mako Shield Array. So it's keep, it looks like it's keeping a lot of the purple colors up front, unless that's just the shine of the light. But then it kind of fades to black um, when you move up these little spiky arms, I want to call them. It's actually a really cool effect. I do like that. Uh, nothing changing down here so much. I guess we're going to be focusing on this part here. Such a big, awkward ship. <laughs> Next shield, the Omega Force T5 shield array. Again, uh, the coloring of the that sphere is making it shine purple, where normally we would see yellow, uh, like we do on the underneath here. So that doesn't look too bad on this ship, though. Uh, next shield, and here's the Tier 6 Omega Vanity Shield. So those yellow highlights that were on the other side are now purple, which actually suit the ship. Not too bad. Next shield. Here's the Borg Assimilated Shield Array. That looks pretty cool. I'd be very interested to see how this looks with the three-piece, though. That would definitely, definitely be interesting. Yeah, let's, uh, can you imagine assimilated Iconians? How insane that would be? I just, I can't even. But yeah, uh, next shield. And by next shield, I actually mean the Borg three-piece. I know I keep doing that. So let's zoom in here. There's the deflector. That actually looks pretty cool. Even though the back part of it seems to be clipping or recessed into the ship, um, that just looks so crazy uh, let's see if we can find where the other pieces are I don't think I see them oh I think I see one hold on zoom in here zoom in so there's the impulse engine <laughs> effect <laughs> that's actually a pretty cool spot for it uh, I'm trying to find the other one that's usually go that goes on top of the nacelles oh i found it hold on let's see there it is so bottom bottom left of your screen there you are <laughs> this feels like we're playing a game of where's waldo so interesting to say the least uh yeah anyway next shield all right here's the romulan uh T5 shield array. Not too bad. I mean, purple and green is a little bit weird, but it doesn't look horrible on this ship, especially considering the Type 2 skin uh, had that like cyan color to it. So, and we're seeing that again here, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, next shield, the Riemann shield array. Not too bad, also. Hmm. Actually, that looks kind of menacing. <laughs> Next shield. The new Romulus and Riemann T6 Vanity Shield. That looks really cool, too. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's a really nice color on this ship. Next shield. Here's the new Kara T5 shield array. Also looks really good on this ship too. I don't mind that one bit. Like the yellow, the yellow 
floaty thingies. <laughs> I don't even know what purpose they serve, but there they are. Yeah, that looks really good. Uh, neck shield. And here's the tier 6 uh, Nukara vanity shield. Also looks pretty cool. Uh, probably because we're not so zoomed in that we don't notice the raisin skin that usually happens on ship. Um, like if we zoom in like that. You know what? It actually doesn't bother me so much on the ship. It's not too bad. Huh. Surprised. Next shield. Here's the Dyson T5 shield array. That looks pretty cool. I'm noticing it's kind of hard to see some of the detail on the front of the ship because of that orb. So uh, we have to rely on a lot of the spiky parts here to really see what it looks like. But that in itself looks actually really cool. It's a nice design. Uh, next shield. And here is the tier 6 Dyson Vanity Shield. Also, I don't mind it on this ship. I do not mind it one bit. It just seems to fit so well. Huh. Next shield. The Counter Command T5 Shield Array. Uh, lots of polka dots on the, on the underneath. Uh, let's come up and take a look at it here. Eh. Not bad. Not one of my favorites, for sure. Lots of polka dot happening on the front there, too. Hmm. Next shield. And here's the Tier 6 Counter Command Vanity Shield. Eh, I... Th mm. I think maybe the Tier 5 was a little bit better. I don't know. I know this is all subjective, and my opinion on what looks good or not good doesn't really matter but yeah I don't know <laughs> I think the T5 had a little bit more definition to this ship so next shield here's the Delta Alliance T5 shield array that front looks really really cool going on to the underside damn that looks really nice That finish on the hull just looks really, really good. Yeah, I like that one. Next shield. And here is the Tier 6 Delta Alliance uh, Vanity Shield. Looking a lot like that Type 2 in the ship tailor. Mainly on the front. I didn't really notice anything on the back, but... Still, I do like that cyan color. It's one of my favorite colors I like to use in uh, Minecraft, too. <laughs> Next shield. All right, here is the Tier 5 Iconian Shield Array. And... Hmm. <laughs> I... I personally don't like it. I don't know. I think there's just way too much swirling going on. I don't know if there's too much swirling going on or if my problem is the red, black, purple, gray combination that we have going on here. Uh, I, th I have a feeling that the T6 uh, vanity shield will actually look better. Uh, let's check that out, out now. All right, there's the tier six Iconian vanity shield. And yeah, I think the tier six works a lot better because it's got a lot of like the design is purple already. We already have swirls going on um, on like the main parts of the ship. So this one fits a lot better, in my opinion. It's not so stand out, stand outish and weird as the red one. Yeah. Anyway, next shield, the Terran task force T5 shield array, huge favorite of mine right there. That angle, that shot looks amazing. That looks so good. This shield, I, from what I remember, has not been a disappointment at all. Yeah, that looks, that looks really good. Next shield. And here is the Tier 6 uh, Terran Task Force Vanity Shield. 
also looks really good too because it's got a lot of the cyan highlights already uh, incorporated with the shield so it fits oddly enough huh all right next shield all right here's the temporal defense t5 shield array um not bad i don't know how i feel exactly but it doesn't look horrible it kind of suits the ship next shield all right here's the tier six temporal defense uh shield array I think this one looks a little bit better than the T5. Yes. Next shield. The Lucari T5 Shield Array. Super Tron. So much Tron. I love it. I don't think there is any complaints here whatsoever. Got some Tron lighting on the underneath. Some on the side. Some on the top. Some in the back and some in the fr oh, a lot in the front. <laughs> that looks good. Uh, next shield. And here is the tier 6 Lucari Vanity Shield. Purple. Fits the theme. I like it. It's not as, uh, as bright as the, uh, the T5 Lucari, uh, but still looks pretty good on this ship. If you're looking for something a little bit more muted, uh, this would probably be the one to go with next shield all right here's the competitive rep t5 shield array and only seeing small amount of diamonds so far which is not bad oh there's some underneath but that's okay hmm not it's not bad i don't think it really adds anything to the ship though personal opinion all subjective of course next shield and here is the tier six competitive rep uh she vanity shield and i think the gold might be a little too standoffish with the current coloring scheme here gold and purple i don't know i don't think that's something that works to be honest next shield all right here's the t5 gamma rep shield array looking really good actually that actually looks really good i like that one i think i might like the t6 better though hmm only one way to find out the tier 6 gamma rep vanity shield and yeah i i like the tier 6 version better that looks so good yes very very nice all right let's go to the next shield the breen shield <laughs> um i have to say it's not as horrible as i thought it would be i've seen it it's looked worse on other ships on this one it doesn't look that bad Huh. Interesting. Uh, next shield. The Bajor Defense uh, Vanity Shield. Or Shield Array, sorry. Not a Vanity Shield. Shield Array. This one looks actually looks kind of cool, too. Yeah, I don't mind that. Next shield. The Aegis Shield Array. Some subtle blue lighting or blue it's more i guess you could say it's more white it looks more white to me like more white than blue i don't know but it looks kind of cool on here next shield and the old school Jemhadar shield array very weathered Yeah. Nick shield. All right, we're on to lockbox vanity shields now. So here's the Herc lockbox vanity shield. Uh, I 
not bad, actually. I don't mind it too much. Huh. Next shield. The Ferengi lockbox vanity shield. Mm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Next shield. The Kelvin Divergence Vanity Shield. Honestly, right now I'm trying to see where the Bizarre Collectors are. I can't see them, so this is probably a good thing. Um, yeah, again, I don't know. The thing that's helping it out a lot right now is that orb in front. If we didn't have that orb, then I think it would just look completely washed out. Um, but the orb is adding so much more to, to especially the front of the ship that it's making it actually not that bad. Yeah. Anyway, next shield. All right, here's the Discovery Vanity Shield. This one is actually looking pretty good. I do like that color gray, that's for sure. Next shield, the Emperor's Vanity Shield. Oh, that looks so good. I mean, are we surprised? <laughs> yeah, that looks really, really, really good. Yeah. Next shield, the Section 31 Vanity Shield. Good Lord, that looks really good. Oof. Yeah. Holy crap, that looks so good. Ooh, we we have some definitely good shields. There's a lot of shields that look good on this ship. I, I'll have to give it that. Uh, next shield, the Zenkefi Vanity Shield. I know a pe uh, some people don't like all the lights. I actually think it looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, that, that that this does look really cool. <laughs> I, I do like all the little twinkly lights. Might just be my Christmas mood right now. But yeah, that looks that looks really cool. Next shield and the new Fakiri lock or not lockbox, but new Fakiri vanity shield. This is available from the Q's one Winter Wonderland event right now. Um, and this is my first time looking at it on any ship, and this might have been the wrong ship to look at it on. But, that does look really cool. I, I, I do have to say that. That looks, oh, I can't wait to see this on some Federation ships. I might do a video where I go back to all the previous ships that I've done visual reviews on and just put the shield on each one, kind of do a roundup video. But yeah, uh, next shield. All right, here's the Bozeman Titans Vanity Shield. That's actually a very, very confusing and weird color combination happening here. Huh. Next shield, the Vulcan Logicians. Next shield, the Denebian Slime Devil Vanity Shield. I so far don't really like any of these. I think they're just too obscure. I, I think I say that a lot in each video, but in case you're new, I think these, these ones, these baseball ones are a little obscure. Again, all subjective. Next shield, the Deep Space Niners. The red is nice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Next shield. The Ferenginar Liquidators. Another kind of weird one. Next shield. And the Cation Claws. Interesting. 
That's all I'll say. <laughs> and that is it for the visual review. I'm missing the pink shield. I'm having, I can't seem to get it unlocked on Tribble. Uh, so I do apologize about that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's it. Uh, I hope whoever, the people who uh, requested this video uh, enjoyed it. And if you didn't request it, I hope you still enjoyed this video. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much to our sponsor, GamePrint, for sponsoring the channel. Uh, thank you, everybody who came to watch this video. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit that like button if you did enjoy it, and leave me a comment what you liked or maybe what you'd like to see uh, next. Uh, definitely taking some suggestions uh, on that front. Uh, but yeah, thank you again. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.